clear the tower. Every four computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions.
Hello, why isn't the game showing up? It should have been, it was working before. Why are you not showing up now? I hate you. I hate you so much. Why aren't you? Hmm. The game was showing up before though. What's going on? Oh, there we go. I clicked on the game and it worked. Okay, cool. <laughs> so that's how... Sure, sure, that's how it works. Okay, so uh, where did we live off last time? Okay, I guess I did all the side quests. That's completely... Yeah, that, that's completely in character for me. <laughs> How much money do I have? 45,000. Like Ellen in the capital. Okay, I need to go to, to the capital, right. But there's nothing else for me to do. Are you sure about that? Watch over Tita. Be careful out there. Oh, yeah, I remember that whole conversation. It was really, really bad. Technological prowess of our friends in the society is quite remarkable. Yep. First me, child, I've had in some time. Yeah, putting out something like that would work, sure, but I mean. Oh wait. Uh, well, hold on, let me check the head path. Is it working? Kinda, yeah, sure. It's fine. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, what was I going to say? I forgot. I was going to say something, I forgot. Oops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey! Morning, mister! Morning! It's afternoon! But yeah, welcome! Did you sleep well, you can? I hope you slept well! Mm -hmm. Oh, what is it? Everyone just left for Waste and Fortress. Hmm. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember this, I remember this conversation. She was not into you at all, dude. She was only acting cute to get in your good graces. Don't trust her. <laughs> I hope you drink water before I have and I will drink again. Ah. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, yeah, I remember all that. What else? 
factory chief's announcement. It seems like the earthquakes are over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can, as I was saying, are you well? Did you sleep well? I hope you did. You better. <laughs> Oh, if you're looking for Faye, she's over at Lyson Fortress with the factory ship. Oh, right. Yeah, there was that. Wait, hold on, wait. Repeat that? Really, see, there's going. Okay. Oh, but there was something about. Like an angel. Oh man. Okay, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have skipped. So I'm guessing there's no one here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What about? The audible stuff. I'm doing okay. Okay, cool. Awesome. Elmo Village, or maybe Lyson Fortress. Oh no. Okay, never mind. Just one. Got my cat sleeping inside the bag. <laughs> what? Near me. Oh, that sounds kind. Of, that sounds so cute. My, my landline phone is ringing again. Whatever. Landline phone calls are always a scam. Okay. I'm... I'm hoping to see palms, but I'm not seeing any. It's only with palms that you really level up in this game. Let's harass the chickens. <laughs> Completely awake now, woo! Quick thing seems to have finally settled down. What a strange, comprehensible event. 
We will leave solving that one to the guild. We've got to go over our security in preparation for the signing ceremony. Right? <clears throat> According to the central factory, the earthquakes are over with, but... I actually received a similar report from Army Command. Regardless of the reasons, it doesn't... It does seem to be true that the earthquakes have quieted down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, so this gate goes that way, north, but there's really nothing in there in the in the map telling you exactly where it's going. Hmm. Maybe it's to the capital, I guess, but there's no roads there that you can see, that I can see anyway. It's kind of a shame that this game doesn't have a fast travel. You have to walk to every location. But at the same time, this is called trails, right? So you're gonna be using the trails a lot. <laughs> you're gonna be trailing through everywhere, everything. <laughs> Bombs, okay. Like every yes, you have to walk to every location. There's no vehicle. There's no fast travel. There's no teleport. You walk everywhere. Oh no. Eh. I mean, the game does have a, a zoom uh, button, so it's not too bad. But yeah, you kind of have to walk everywhere. Mm. Phew, thank Ideos, the baths are back to normal. That's a relief, let me tell you. As long as a few fine guests ha like you come, I can keep a roof over my head. Until Quante is bigger, I just gotta hold on, little by little. Aww. Just walk. Walk everywhere. You have no choice. <laughs> How much is nine? Three thousand six. Okay, that's that's actually fair. Fix the springs too. They're so amazing. That's right, Qua Qua Quante? Quante, yeah. Quante. 
I'm really happy the hot springs are fixed. I don't think any customers would have come back if they were boiling like that forever. Yeah. Right. And I can go back to this dungeon, can't I? Yeah, I can. Is it worth it going to this... To go to this dungeon? Let me see. All right, now that it's not boiling anymore, it's safe. You don't, I don't have to wait to go. Let me see, is it worth fighting these enemies? Move. Move, please. Enemy, please move. Thank you. Hmm. They are easy to take down, it seems. How much experience do they give? Not bad. Although it would take a, a long while to... Oh, hey. Well, 51 for uh, Tita. Nice. Um, yeah, it would take a long while to, to actually level up. So I don't know if it's actually worth it to grind a little bit. No. Oh wow, 107 experience for Tita. Huh. It might be worth it actually. It might actually be worth it to to grind a little bit. Hold on. I'm gonna go back to Elmo. It's a free HP heal. It's a free heal at the hot spring, so let's make use of that. It's only HP though, which is a shame. If it were a EP as well, then it would be so overpowered. How much is it to to also recover the EP? Oh, thank you for the headpad. Uh, 200. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Another headpad, nice. Thank you so much. Okay, so 200 to restore all of our EP. That's not bad, actually. Not bad at all. The problem is that... Yeah, the problem is that Chloe and Zine aren't here, so they're not getting any level ups. Which is a shame. Okay, um... Yeah, not bad. Maybe we could grind maybe a couple of levels for Tita. She Tita is very behind. Super behind on levels. So it will be kind of worth it. Lightning? Oh. I mean, is lightning better than Ariel? Ariel does an AoE that attacks everyone, almost. Like in that area. While lightning is just in a straight line. I'm not sure if it's better than Ariel in any situation. But, alright. Take 
Wait, did I? Oh, there's probably a lot of chests that I didn't get last time too. That's yeah, something to keep in mind as well. I think I went through here the last time. I think I remember this passage. The yeah, I got I got a chest here, I believe. Oh no, this is an no. The chest was this way, that other way. Or not? Oh, hi! That seems like a very powerful enemy. A hidden enemy, maybe? Huh. He's just standing still. Okay. What? <laughs> We're sorry, the item fairies haven't restocked this chest yet. Please come visit again soon. Okay, <laughs> is this enemy just not gonna attack me? Can I just go around it, really? Huh. If it's facing that way, then... Preventive attack. Right. Okay, let's see if this enemy is super. You mean item employees? Item employees. <laughs> uh, okay. Slightly weak to to air and water, okay? That works for me. <laughs> okay, that wasn't too much damage. Alright. Not too bad. <laughs> the item fairies, item employees, yeah. Uh yeah, that wasn't too bad at all. Alright. Although, hmm. Hmm. Oh crap, I didn't notice the enemy. They should restock it. Crap. Yeah, big mistake there. That I made a big mistake there. Wait, it's the outside. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so instead of going that way, although, hmm. no, let's go this way. I think I went this way the, the last time. Oh, hey, another one of these. Oh, I didn't go this way and there was just a chest. Reviving bulb, nice. There was an item here. It's gone now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, I wonder what these guys are. They just, they just stand there menacingly. <laughs> well, actually, let me read the item description. The enemies. Giant Ant Hill turned monster nest. Fires powerful formic acid and petrifies foes. And that's all it gives, okay? <laughs> Same enemy information as last time, man, too. Okay. Okay, not bad. Ah, they both returned to the same place, okay. And this way, there is, it was the chest, right. Okay, now let's move on. This whole beginning area is fully explored. There were two chests and I missed two chest, chests the last time. Because I went straight ahead without even realizing it. Okay, you're weak to nothing in particular, okay? What about you? Slightly weak to everything except Earth, okay? That worked for me? Overkill. Just overkill. Wow. <laughs> wow, the one that was weak to wind survived. Survived the longest. That's surprising. Okay, there's nothing here. It was just that one enemy. Okay. That's fine. Oh, I hate these enemies so much. No, these enemies suck. Literally, they suck your blood. It's a good blood. Weak to fire, slightly weak to fire and slightly... Oh wait, no. Pretty weak to earth. Okay. Gotcha, boss. Did I go this way last time? I think I did. Might have. Oh, and there, there are also other branching paths here. Hold on. Before we go this way, let's go back. Okay, I got that chest. Alright. Oh, another one of these. That doesn't move. Oh. Here is the path forward. Okay. Let's ignore you. Oh! An accessory slash weapon chest, let's see. Blue cashmere. Okay. Woman only. Woven from the wool of blue coated sheep monsters. Creepy. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh wow, it's 
just... It's just way better than what I have, wow. ADF plus 45? What's ADF again? What's ADF? Again, I, I forgot. Is it in tactics? No. Oh, I forgot how to... How to access... Those... Mm. Oh, memo. Here. Status? Parameters, maybe? Ah, here we go. Uh, ADF. Magic defense. Oh. Aha! You thought taking that would make me weak, but you've only awakened my true power. <laughs> oh, I love them. I love you. Treasure chest dialogue is truly big game design. Nothing will ever beat treasure chest dialogue. Okay, so woman only. I think... Hmm. Wait, no, was it ATS? ADF, ADF, okay. So magic defense. Wow. All the girls here that have low ADF. Oh, and Olivia has even lower, wow. Good to know. Okay, um, what about in the defense department? Department. Who has the least amount of defense? Oh. Oh. Okay, Tita. This is gonna go to Tita, absolutely. Even with the new armor, Tita is still very squishy. Let's save. Okay, let's go forward. And I think forward was like to the right, right? So let's go to the left and see. Okay, I got the one here. Let's just defeat an enemy, at least. Or several enemies. Level up for Olivier, nice. Level 54, he's caught up to Scara and Stell. Tita has quite a long way to go to get to level 54, but that's fine. She has a very high uh, um, magic defense, at least. Sure. 
still uh, a bit to go, so... Was that it? I I think Hmm Wait which way was the way forward then? I thought it was this way. Huh? By what? I found the way forward before, didn't I? Yeah, here's the, the chest. Here is the other chest. Oh, oh, never mind. This is the way forward. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> mm. Is there no fishing place here? Okay. Maybe it's because uh, the water is really hot the, and no fish will be able to survive. Probably. Well, no experience from that. Absolutely nothing. Almost. What's this way? Okay, a treasure chest that I've already gotten. <laughs> okay, I remember you. It's a song one. Oh, crap. I thought he was... But he was facing away. But no, you were not. Tita is almost level... Um, wait, how much again? 52, I think? Yeah, 52. Almost level 52. Is this the way forward? Yep. It is. Okay, let's go back. Softening bomb. Okay, nice. So, what really stops you from wearing more than two accessories? Social decorum? I think... Uh, I think I remember this one from the first game. Uh, yeah, near the beach. Just before you get to Juan. I think there's one just like this one. Machine blanker. Whoa. You open the chest. Ponder putting the item you took from it back. 
and calls it again for soft smile. <laughs> uh, I think this one is a repeat as well, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Strength is more, range is the same, but the area is way bigger. Well, not way bigger, just... It co goes from small to medium, which is great. Love it. Well, there is more over here. Oh no, this is the... This is not the way forward? Okay, I already got that one. Right, I'm going backwards, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm going backwards, actually. Yeah, going through all of that, I just went backwards. I made a circle. Hmm. Wait, no, no, I'm not convinced. Hold up. My sense of direction is usually good, but it's kind of getting messed up. Hold on. Okay, yeah, I went through here, and I even asked if I could fish. Wait, no, that wasn't here, that was actually another one. Here, yeah. Right, the enemy respawned, because I went to that other area by accident, right? Okay, I already know what I am. What I am. I went through here. Got a chest, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, then I went over here. And that's the way forward. Right, okay. All good then. Seems to be all good. It's a cool little play. Oh! Oh, is that not a, a place to fish? Oh, I can actually go inside here. Oh, what a nice place, actually. Hmm. It's a really nice place. Really cool formation here. And for the hot springs as well, that's cool. I wonder if there's a quest around that afterwards. In the future, I don't know. It could be. Oh, I can move. Okay, and that's the end of the... Hmm. The receptum vein activator here. Why would I flip the switch? Do I want... Wait, what? What would happen if I... What happens if I flip the switch? Why would I want to... Wait, hold on. Let me save. Why would I want this? Why would I want to? But let's say flip switch. Nothing happened. Nothing happens. Really? Also, why does this box look so weird? Why does it look so... I don't know. It looks freaking weird. It's all over the place. Looks like it has two... Hmm. Yeah, it's two dialogue boxes in one, but that's so weird. I guess not polished up because they didn't think anyone would actually go here afterwards. Hmm. But I wonder why nothing happens. You think something would happen, knowing what happens in the story and all. Well, seeing as Tita is really close to L52, let's just grind a little bit. Ooh, the, the difference. It's really cool. It's great. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, just one more enemy and Tita is level 52. Is anyone close to level 55? Mm, kinda, but not enough, so... Let's just move on. Let's just move on with the main story. No. Okay, enjoy your blanket and chalky milk, you can... Not enough. Swarm of evil! Just die. <laughs> Huh? What? Uh, all I says to is that enjoy the blanket and chalky milk. Oh, uh, oh, maybe you're talking about how I said uh, just die to the golem thing. Wait, there's this little passage here. Oh, it doesn't seem like it leads anywhere new. Right. Okay. There was a small passage, I thought maybe there was uh, a very hidden chest, but I guess not. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, sorry. Sorry for the confusion. Yeah, maple leaf, but uh, this sign says maple me uh, the maple leaf with a no in seven a. So it's not leaf, it's leaf, <laughs> leaf. <laughs> anyway, um, let's get Estelle back up to her HP. Ah, oh, what a nice bath. Yep, I can confirm a fact that I can can confirm a fact that the baths are just fine now. Is it not I can confirm the fact? Or I can confirm as a fact? Uh I don't know, that sounds like a typo. Okay, better get back to work. Okay. <laughs> that looks like a typo to me. Mm-hmm. 
The hot springs have finally gone back to a normal temperature, it seems. Apparently, you can use the baths at the ma maple leaf in again. That reminds, me, that reminds me, there was an earthquake recently. I wonder if the trouble at the hot springs is related to that. Yeah, congrats, you got it. Let's see if we can get some palms to appear. Nope. No palms. What about you, my good sheep? No palms. Okay. Oh, this sheep land. Hold on. Am I going the right way? Not really. Uh, this is Carnelia Tower, right? Oh no, Wolf Ford, my bad. Uh, oh, oh, bomb! And of course, okay, it's fine, it's fine. I might be able to get it. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. You won't get away. Wait, what? Oh no. No, I don't have... I don't have Dark Matter on Olivia anymore? Oh no. Please don't run away. <gasps> yes. Kill it, kill it. Yes, kill it, please. Not enough to level up, but it was a pretty big boost. So nice. I don't have Dark Matter on Olivia anymore, though. Oh. Hmm. Congrats! Yay! It's kind of weird, though. Why don't I have Dark Matter anymore? Silent Cross? What's that? I'm not sure. Okay, um, that's fine, that's fine. Seems to be fine for now. Let's go back to Zeiss. Uh, let's go to Lyston Fortress, just to see any dialogue stuff. <laughs> I face planted into the into the that steel gate that must have hurt his tail. <laughs> Colonel Seed will be departing for Grandson soon. He'll be overseeing security for the signing ceremony of the non-aggression pact. Even with Erebonians in town, Colonel Seed will make sure it goes off without a hitch. Uh, I'm guessing I can't enter. Okay, I can't enter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Because after settle down, everyone can breathe easy. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Hey, welcome. You can pass on through. Central Factory sent out a message that the earthquakes are finished. We received a similar report from headquarters. It seems it really wasn't just a natural phenomenon. Wait, can I just go through here? All the way here, but let's take the airship the rest of the way to the capital. Oh, okay. Kiwika should have tickets already prepared for us. Let's just relax for this last bit. Okay, so I won't be walking to Grandsel. <laughs> I'll just take the airship. Oh, but still, there's far too much we don't understand. <laughs> we will need to stay alert for a while. Bum, bum, bum. I don't really want to throw away my life in a place like this. Anyway, let's get back to the capital. Oh, Anton. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> Apparently, it will be the Western Fortress units that handle security at the signing ceremony. Seems Colonel Seed will be taking command too, so it sounds like we're in good shape. He has more of a civil certain servant look about him, but Colonel Seed's actually a heck of a fighter. He's one of the best in the Royal Army when it comes to arts, from what I hear. I can confirm. When I fought him, he brought down a meteor on me. I can 100% confirm that he's really good <laughs> at that, at fighting. He pulled a Majora's Mask reference on me. I have the worst luck with men. Oh, hey, Tammy. Uh, how do I turn this tragic around, I wonder? I can well understand your troubles myself. However, the problem always lies within the self. What's preventing you from meeting a future spouse? Could be that the ideal man that lies in your heart is not but a false image? Oh, absolutely. What do I do? My future spouse? Maybe that hot priest or something? Oh, what do I do? Oof. Oh, Bishop. What's wrong with Tammy? She... She's the kind of girl that has super high expectations for someone, for her spouse. Expectations that will never come true. Ah. Yeah, look. Mm, my future spouse. Maybe that hot priest or something? She's talking about Kevin. Oh, what do I do? <laughs> um, I really ought to be getting back, so... I'll be glad to hear your concerns another day at the cathedral, so... Even the bishop, even the freaking bishop wants to get out. Of Tammy's uh, general area. Hey, welcome! I'll take your orders. I don't know what happened, but my waitress ain't here after all. Dun, 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 dun. Tammy is the waitress. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Now for real. <laughs> now for for real. Okay. I, I'm not joking around anymore. For real. Let's continue the story. Weak to fire? Hmm. What about you? Weak to wind and earth. <laughs> Oh, how dare you!
You missed. Okay. All of that for 5 EXP. Yay. <laughs> Did you hear the announcement from the central factory? Okay, yeah, yeah. It was pretty so hard I didn't get any work done. Okay, I already read that actually. People at the central factory seem so busy. Those are exactly the people I like to take a look at some flowers, but uh, they all just pass right by. Bear claw. Azealia fruit. Actually, hold on. Fresh herb. Oh, I haven't worn this recipe yet. Hold on, let me buy two more. 4,500 HP, that's really good. I don't think any of my characters... Yeah, that's uh, full HP for everyone at the moment. That's great. That's actually really good. Okay, let's go. Hey, ready to check in? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, hold on. Check in. All right. I'll contact the guild and let them know to send the rest of your party. I forgot to save. Whatever. He tells the group checked in and waited for the next passenger ship. What level are Chloe and Zin? Hmm. It's a shame that in this game they don't share experience. If they did, then they would be up to date as well. I think Zin is at a pretty good level, but I think Chloe is at level 53 or 52, I'm not sure. Oh, Sig! Hey sis! I don't wanna be I wanna sit here, let's go outside! I'll be good, I promise! You promise that you'll be good? You promise that you won't fall fall down the ship? You better. I said no! The last time you said that you climbed the railing on the deck, didn't you? Oh Oh I was joking! Oh no! You're staying put right here no matter what. Oof, oh no. Hey, <laughs> just you wait, Axel. Your lovely white frame will be mine in this camera. What? What the heck are, are you planning, Alden? Oh, hi, Rutherford. I've got a deal to make with Ambassador Cochrane of Calvert. And this is the big one. I hope it goes well. Hmm. Ah, next is the seat of, of Her Majesty herself, Grandsel, the City of Beauty. It makes my heart rejoice to see it again, but it also brings to mind that recent coup. Something like that must never happen again. I agree, random passenger. Hi, Stel. Scree, how are you? Out for a walk, Stel? Uh huh. You two just watching the clouds? Hmm, something like that. Chloe helped me become friends with Sig. Ah, oh, cute. Right, Sig? Scree. It's so cute. 
<laughs> That's great, Tita. Oh, and Chloe was telling me all about the school festival. You were a knight in the play, right? Oh, yeah, I remember. That is so... That feels like such so long ago now. Well, uh, kinda, yeah. Actually, a lot of people thought I got the pretty dashy figure as a knight. Wow, Nito! I wish I could have seen you act. Well, you can come to the festival next year, Tita. It's open to the public, after all. Wait, really? Mom and Dad will be back by then, too. I'll ask Grandpa about it as soon as I get home. Well, if we do that... We'll have to get Estella on stage again next year. Uh, you know, I think I'll just leave my thanks. Say, that reminds me. Tita, your mom and dad are out of the country working, right? Yeah. They're helping to establish Orwell technology in places that don't have it yet. They've been gone for two years. Oh, wow. Wow, that is a long time. I hope they write you letters or something at least. Yeah, once every month. And that's better than nothing. I wrote about you last time, Estelle, and in the reply, they said to give you their regards. Oh, that's sweet of them. So what kind of people are your parents, Tita? Is your mom like you? I bet she is. Like me? I don't think so. Mom's got a really... Uh, powerful personality, I guess. She and Grandpa kinda end up fighting and wrestling a lot over stuff. Wrestling? Well, um, she certainly sounds... energetic? Oh, but they usually get along really well. Dad says their fighting is just the way they express their love. Well, uh, okay. So what's your dad like, then? He's not like mom at all. He's sort of quiet and reliable, I guess. So your mom is not reliable at all? Is that what you're saying? He was a racer until about 10 years ago. Wait, seriously? He told me once that he got hurt to doing something and became an engineer afterward. Mum said he was really famous though. Huh, okay. They sound great. I'd love to meet them when they get back. Yeah, when they do, come, come over to play and I'll introduce you. Probably same. <laughs> like, her dad, unlike her mom. Her dad is quiet and reliable. That means that her mom is not reliable at all. Yep. <laughs> oh, Chloe, you too. I'd love to. Thank you, Tita. Scree? Oh, uh, you can come too, see? Scree! Oh. Wait, do I see the beat in the cup? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the jar now, like, in the cup. Those beats are just moving around. They're just bouncing indefinitely. They should stop, but for some reason the physics are going whack. I don't know why. <laughs> it looks really funny. Oh, I can talk more? Oh yeah, still. Do you know why the wind's nice and gentle on the deck like this? Uh, isn't it just like that? Oh no, at the speed we're going, the wind should be really strong. Well, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say about that, to be honest. We wouldn't be able to hear each other. We'd be swept off off the deck, in fact. Wait, seriously? Ah, but if I recall correctly, there is a device aboard an airship that prevents such things. Ah, an orbit to do that. Uh-huh. It's a side effect of the flight field that keeps the ship in the air. Flight field? A normal flight engine d envelops the ship in the field that counter counteracts gravity, you see. Whoa! <laughs> oh yeah, just casually make an orb that counteracts gravity. <laughs> wow, orbs are awesome. They're, they're like materia, right? Yeah, they're just like materia from Final Fantasy. Well, except the materia in Final Fantasy XIV isn't exactly like that. But the materia in Final Fantasy VII comes from the Earth itself. And, and knowledge from gathered from the history of the world, right? From Mako. So, so basically, when you use the fire material to cast fire, it's basically the knowledge that you're borrowing from another person that knew how to cast fire, kinda. And there are also other 
like strength up materia, gravity materia, all that stuff. Which is cool, it's a really cool idea. And orbs, I guess, they also come from the septium veins of the world. Yeah, huh. Orbs, in a way, are very much like materia. You even equip them for various status effects and and uh, arts or rather spells and everything so yeah they're pretty much like like materia like they work hmm. anyway in Final Fantasy 7 anyway uh, let's continue it also has an anti-inertial anti-inertial effect on anything striking the field and that includes the particles that make up the wind Chloe, are you following any of this? I think I understand half of it? But, um, generating a flight field takes a lot of power. You need a really high output orbital engine to create a field at all. Okay, so that's why people always say that it's the engine that determines what an airship can do. Speaking of which, the new engine Professor Russell and everyone developed from the RCL is supposed to be incredible, isn't it? Uh-huh. Grandpa shows me the spec sheet for uh, the spec sheet for yeah, the spec sheet for it. And its capabilities are way beyond existing engines. Grandpa and the rest of the team at the central factory worked really hard on it. I can imagine. Oh, Julia will be delighted. Wait, Julia is in Sh Commander Schwartz. <laughs> I actually thought about writing her a letter myself. I do wonder how she's do how she's doing. The last time I came to the capital, I saw the Arcel. It's really, really pretty. Hehe. <laughs> I wonder if we'll see it again. It's so cute. It's so cute. Oh hi, Noticia. Magazine reporters don't get any breaks. Speedy reporting is our lifeblood. And you can bet I'll have my latest report written up the instant we hit the dock. Uh, I wish I could have spent more time in the hot springs. Oh, uh, don't worry, it's not your fault, faults. I will always make that same pun. Forever and ever. You can't stop me. Ooh, ooh, Gretel's up text, isn't it? It is! Yikes, I need to start getting stuff ready to unlock when we dock. We've got so much cargo to uh, offload in Gretel. Right? Hello, miss. Having a look around the ship? Or just bored? We're above the trapped planes at the sh at the moment. The weather's fantastic. Why not step out on deck and catch the view? We're above the trapped planes. Where is that exactly? I'm guessing around here. Yeah, here maybe. It's not on the map, but it has to be here somewhere. I do remember seeing trapped planes, so... Hmm. Helm, we're a bit high. Can you drop us down slightly? Let's reduce altitude now before we get caught in an air current, please. Looks like there's a bit of wind coming down from above. The winds around here change at the drop of a hat, so I have to stay on the ball about it. La da la, yes, affirmative. Immediately restoring co correct altitude, but da ba da da bong. What? La di da da, da da di da. What? <laughs> okay. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. Uh. <laughs> Olivia, what are you doing? You see that passenger playing the lute, right? It isn't just his music that's unique. He's singing and the way he talks is as well. 
How do I put it? I feel like he loves himself a lot. Oh, definitely. I guess he's a textbook definition of narcissism, huh? <laughs> Oof. The... <laughs> oh, the text changed a little bit. Just to seem, seems he loves himself. A lot. Okay, that changed a little bit. If you need to shop in the capital, really, really, the only stop you need to make is Edo Department Store. Sure, it isn't as big as Bo's Market, but their merchandise is the best in the kingdom. Ah, if I had a time and mirror, I'd love to stop in and shop till I drop. Hmm. Edo Department Store's merchandise is really a fantastic quality. Apparently that store has been the source of several recent fashions. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Thank you. Oh, Estelle, my fair rose. Welcome to Olivier Lenheim's lovely solo recital. Oh, why the Ozzy escaped his share? <laughs> what? Seriously? Who let you out of your seat? Ha! <laughs> Just as bracers protect the innocent, and military men protect their homes, it is a duty of performers such as I to protect the soul and pathos of the moment. He did apparently beg permission from the steward, Estelle. There's no harm in letting him play. No lasting harm, anyway. Scara, have you no appreciation for song? He even turned down my invitation to the Elmo Springs a month ago in the most casual fashion imaginable. And I would drink myself under the table for you. What tragedy! <laughs> if I actually had time to fall around like that, I'd consider it. Besides, I'd never actually drink you under the table deliberately. I just want someone who can match my... pace. That's all I need from a drinking partner. Uh, Olivier? Scara doesn't quite get it. She doesn't realize how crazy her drinking speed is or how her liver is basically the Jehina of alcohol. I'm sitting right here, you know, Stell. But if you want to serenade me, my dear Weinheim, you better be ready to keep up with me. And remember, I won't work your liver nearly as hard as I know would. Oh, please! Let us never speak of that night again. The memories alone make my heart quail. <laughs> I bet they do. Just what the heck? You know, I don't actually want to know. <laughs> oh boy. In truth, Scara, I, in truth, Scara, I do not mind sharing a drink with. She may drink endlessly, but at least sh her face reddens and the liquor begins to tell on her demeanor. But Aina. No matter how much Aina drinks, she remains as sober as a statue. And when such a seemingly sober individual pours the libations, one can hardly judge his own intake with any degree of accuracy. <laughs> okay. I probably shouldn't encourage Olivier anymore on this train of thought. What? A direct request from the army, huh? If they're calling us to the capital, it must be a matter they don't leak, they don't want leaking out under any circumstance. We have the society to worry about too, so we should be on guard for anything. Where's Zin though? There he is. Oh hey Nora! Currently, to your right is the front of Annenberg Wall. It has a long and storied history, which dates back to before the birth of the Liberal Kingdom. Oh wow, really? According to some theories, it's linked to the ancient Zemurian civilization, but the truth of the matter is unclear. Really? Hmm. I don't know where it is though, I can see it on the map. But that's interesting. Okay. Our vessel is currently in flight above the trap points. Please enjoy your relaxing journey until our arrival in Grenzel. Whoa, so that's the fort? 
if it, if it really is a ruin, then maybe there's some hidden treasure inside that inside that nobody knows about. Oh, believe me, I already went to every single place. But some kind of fort between maybe Carnelia Tower and Sanctum Gate in the Trap Points. I don't remember any ruins in the Trap Points like that. Did I miss it somehow? Huh, that seems very unlikely. So about that non-aggression pact that's being signed. I heard that on the day of the, of the signing, no civilians are being allowed into the villa where the ceremony is being held. Not surprising given that it hasn't been that long since that detestable coup, but it would have been nice to see the moment it was signed, you know? Oh, Jimmy, okay. <laughs> Those earthquakes in Zeiss were quite a surprise. To be so localized and happening in so many different places like that. I've been around the block a few times, but I've never seen anything like that. I know they said it was safe, but I did lose my composure for, composure for a bit. We're on an airship now though, so we're safe. Yeah, from any earthquakes. Unless there are any airquakes. <laughs> I don't know. Or gravity quakes? Yeah, since the engine relies on gravity, right, to stay afloat, it counteracts gravity. If there are no earthquakes but a gravity quake, I don't know how that would even look like, but maybe you like that episode of Gravity Falls where the gravity literally fell. <laughs> maybe that's what a gravity quake. Then, if that happened, then... Um, then the sheep would be in trouble. Oh right, the Juan, uh, Juan mayoral election is coming up. It's between Norman, who's promoting tourism, and Portos, who's been promoting the hardware business. I wonder which candidate will get elected. Even if you're not a citizen of Juan, it's still worth taking note of. Speaking of, I remember hearing about some weird ghost rumor in Juan. Oh yeah, I wonder what became of that, nobody talks about it. Yeah, it... I already... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I already fixed that. It was a projection. A 3D hologram. Made by the society. Um... Zin? Ah, oh, still. What is it? Need me for something? Oh, uh, no, not really. It's just... You kind of looked like you were lost in thought. Mm. Yes. Just re just remembering the past a bit is all. With that sunglasses wolf guy, right? Yeah. We last met six years ago. At first it felt like longer, but it hasn't been that long, you know? I guess not. So that man was your senior at your um, dojo, right? What kind of martial artist is he, anyway? Well, simply put, he's a natural. That looks like Kevin. <laughs> his reflexes are perfect and his sense of for battle is keen. When I knew him, he kept himself in perfect shape and it looks like that's still true today. And on top of all that, he knows how to utilize his chi exactly. In every sense, he's a cut above the normal man. Yeah, his moves... I've never seen anything like that. I think he might even be faster and stronger in some ways than that Lawrence guy. And that's scary. I think you might be right, yeah. When we were students, I admired that strength of his. Envied it, even. At least it, I did until six years ago, when he killed our mentor and master of the dojo, Ryuga. What? He he killed his own? Ah, sorry, I'm getting ahead of it. They both agreed to the fight, mind. Master Ryuga had long been aware of the darkness in Walter's heart. heart. He's grown drunk on his own power and hungered for still more. Master constantly rebukes him for his actions and reminds him that what the proper heart of a martial artist is supposed to be. The living fist of the title style. 
that seeks to perfect oneself through the medium of honorable combat. The Living Fist, huh? That has a, ni a neat ring to it. Ultimately, though, Walter never listened. He relished the power with the, which the most aggressive side of Taito style gave him. The aggressive side? Martial arts are used in combat, and so no one can deny that they can be used to hurt people as much as defend them. And while there are many who train for the latter purpose, there are also those who seek to, the, to do the former. Those who do eventually become monsters, whose fists exist only to kill. We call this side of Taito the Murderer's Fist. The... what? In the end, Master Ryuga challenged Walter as he was preparing to leave the dojo to pursue that path. He fought a duel to the death over it, and Master lost. I was the observer for that match. I could do nothing but watch. Zin. Well, that's what happened, and I've been looking for Walter, off and on, ever since. To think, we, to think we'd meet here, now, in Liberal, though. This is the hand of she who, dwe who dwells above at work, mark my words. Oh, sorry, Stel. I didn't mean to chew your head off. Or, wait, was it the ear? No, you didn't chew anything. Thanks for telling me. But, Zin, you're searching for Walter to get revenge, right? <laughs> no, no. Like I said, their match was fairly fought. Master knew what could happen when he challenged Walter. There's no revenge to take. Oh, yeah, that's right. But then, why are you looking for him? Hmm. There's something I want to confirm. Something to... Huh? Now I really don't get it. Huh, it's uh, kind of embarrassing. Either way, I'm still too inexperienced to find out. I hope I can sharpen myself by helping you. I see. Yeah. Well then, I hope you can keep up, Zin. We'll see, Stel. You're the one with the shorter legs. <laughs> oh, I thought Estelle would, uh, would retort with a hey, <laughs> but no. Oh, yeah, speaking of, uh, the, the story, not my legs. <laughs> I think I get what's going on between you and Walter, but how does Kilika fit into all this? Um, it's not really my place to say. I'll only say this much. Kilika is, um, was, Master Ryuga's daughter. Oh. Oh. I think you can fill in the rest yourself for now, yeah? She'll probably tell you the full story someday. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway, once we get to the capital, I should show my face at the Calva Calvardian Embassy. Can't wait too long or Elsa is gonna give me hell. Elsa? That wouldn't be a strict, harsh-looking woman with glasses, would it? Huh, you know Elsa Cochrane? Oh, I remember her. I've only seen her briefly, really. We were at a landing port and she was in the middle of an argument with the Imperial Ambassador. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Ah, yes, she is not what I would call a fan of Erebonia. She's quite confident and intelligent, usually, but Erebonia and their nobility tend to make her see red. I can kind of understand that, I guess. So don't let Olivier get near her. Gotcha. Thank you for flying with us today. We will be arriving in Grandsel shortly. Please be aware that there may be turbulence while landing, so we ask that all passengers take their seats. And here we are back in the capital again. 
Feels pretty good. Guess we better check in with the guild branch first, huh? Yes, we should speak to Wildman and see what the army has in mind for us. I didn't notice that a certain white ship isn't in port today. The Arcel, I believe it was. Huh? You're right. That's the royal family's personal cruiser, right? It might be out on a mission or something. If I recall, the Arcel should be at Western Fortress at the moment. Yeah, it's being fitted with the new engine Professor Russell and his colleagues have been working on. Right? Oh yeah, Gustav said he'd be flying out to Lyston on the factory's airship. It's probably Lyston Fortress, but I've been calling it Lyston. Lyston Fortress. Although in Portuguese it would be Lyston. Lyston. Lyston Fortress. Nah, that, that doesn't sound right. Lyston. Oh, I see. So that awesome ship is being made even more awesome? I seriously can't wait to see that. They're just changing the engine, so I doubt the, exteriors, the exterior will change much. But it will totally be the world's fastest airship, that's for sure. Welcome everyone, and thank you for coming. I've read the reports from Juan and Zeiss. Good work, truly. You've done well in opposing the society thus far. I doubt the guys we fought would agree. Both that masked man and the guy with sunglasses didn't really seem to take it to take it or us seriously. Even knowing that the society is moving is valuable, Estelle, don't disparage yourself. Your successes should make the royal army trust us even further. On that note, why does the army want to see us? I'm guessing it has something to do with the society? Yes, about that. It seems they don't want to discuss it over the phone. An army official will be coming by soon to, to explain the situation in person. Something that cannot be discussed by phone, they say. What they mean is that they do not wish to risk any unwelcome ears listening on in on the call. Wait, you can do that? Oh yes, it's quite possible. Telephones are convenient, but with the right equipment, intercepting a conversation signal is not very difficult. We use a scrambling device between branches to prevent interception of guild business. Unfortunately, the uh, scrambling doesn't work with the army for some reason. Yes, the army uses a different system. All calls between us are thus completely open. Well, that's ducky. Why can't the army just share a mixer scrambler or a finger majigger with us? We are working together, but we're still an international citizens group and they're a national defense force. As much as your father trusts us, Istel, I don't think they can give us something so sensitive so easily. Hmm. Elden? From the sound of things, you do have some idea of what this is all about, yes? I doubt you would have called us directly otherwise. Ah, am I being that transparent? I can only hazard a guess, really, but I believe it's very likely this has to do with the signing of the Non-Aggression Pact. The Non-Aggression Pact? I remember hearing something about that. What exactly is going on with that, anyway? It is a treaty affecting Liberal, Erebonia and Calvert, proposed by Grandmother. In short, it says all countries involved will attempt at all times to solve international disputes without resorting to force. Whoa. So, like, it'll end war? Well, no. There's no true enforcement me mechanism beyond simply being known as a treaty breaker, so enforcing it like that would be difficult. It should still be something of a deterrent though, and will hopefully promote more friendly relations between ourselves and others. Okay, I get it. Queen Alicia does it again, she's got a good eye for this kind of thing. It'd be neat if that made the countries nicer to each other. The pact is being signed in a large ceremony at the Urbi Royal Villa next weekend. Dignitaries from all three nations will be attending, and the media is paying close attention. Which is to say, they may as well have painted a sign on the roof of the villa saying, 
Ouroboros, please attack us. <laughs> Oof. Oh, yeah, that could really get ugly. This is going to be quite a task, isn't it? So you just want us to wait here for the army official then? Correct. We do have some time before he's scheduled to arrive, so feel free to... Dun dun dun. Oh, pardon me a moment. Hello, this is the Grenso Bracer Guild branch. Yes, yes. I see. Yes, that certainly is a problem. Just a moment, please. Is that the army on the phone? No, it's a member of the Army Royal Villa staff. They seem to have lost a child from one of the tourists in their care. Unfortunately, they can't seem to actually locate her parents. That's awful! Do they want us to help? Just so, your highness. They've asked for our aid in locating the child's parents or guardians. There's still some time before our guest from the army is due to arrive. Would you mind taking care of this? Sure, we'd be glad to. You're in, right, Scara? Of course. Let's get over to the villa. Thank you. Mm. Hello? Yes, we have a team of bracers we can dispatch immediately. And your name, sir? Yes, understood. Well then, our bracers will be over as soon as they are able. <laughs> the lost child is in the charge of a butler named Raymond. Oh, I think I remember that name. Once you arrive at the villa, inquire with him. Alright then. Wait a second. Raymond? Why does that ring a bell? Oh, <laughs> wasn't he that one butler we found? You know, when we saved Chloe during the coup, he was hiding under the counter. Oh. Right, Niall's friend. Okay, that, that's not the one I was thinking, actually. <laughs> uh, that's not the one I was thinking about, to be honest. I was thinking about the butler um, that works for Duke Dunan. That was the one I was thinking about. Never, never mind that. Ah, good. If you know him, that should make things even easier. Well then, good luck. Please form your party. You may choose two other members aside from the mandatory members. Okay, they're level 54. And Zin is also level 54, okay. A tank with superior offense and defense, but weak with arts. Has low stamina, but wide area coverage plus recovery abilities. Expert at recovery arts. Possesses useful support crafts. Has ah, superior range and powerful arts, not limited by lines. Right. Let's stick with Olivier right, and Tita for now. Wait, what does he say? Your aid, right, please. Ah. All right. All right. Yeah, I remember. All right. Oh. <clears throat> uh, I don't. I don't know how to say that. How to do that voice. Right. He's so cute. Your aid, please. <laughs> Your aid, please. <laughs> okay, uh. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's stick with this party for now. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Wait. Yeah. I should look at the books. Oh, hey guys! Any I can help with? Never mind. I'll stay here for a bit then. If you need me for anything? Okay. They have little interactions. They don't, they don't just s uh, sit in the chairs. That's cute. Hold on. Alright! 
So what about Great. Olivia and Tita? Where do they look? Okay. Olivia stay uh, Olivia stays here with the booze, makes sense. And Tita just looks at this map, I guess. Cute. Okay, uh, let's go back. You're right, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, monsters. Wow, a dangerous monster, Chronocider, has been sighted along the Yerby scenic route. Bracers of Philly. Okay. Monster possesses extremely thick skin and has dizzying attacks. Respond equipped with arts. Okay. Rental sewers. West block entrance, okay. It specializes in blood sucking attacks. Reports suggest it may be it may be weak to fire arts. Okay, good to know. Apparently a butler named Raymond is keeping an eye on the lost child. Once you get to the Royal Villa, ask for him. <laughs> The factory in this town has a very nice repairman. Okay. Apparently, the pianist who was frequenting that bar there until recently played some amazing performances. He was a strange one, but I think his skills at least were the real deal. I think it was Olivier. Right? Hehe. <laughs> Alright, let's have something to eat, shall we? Oh, I'm so hungry. I feel like I feel like I could die. Oh no. Hmm, he smells so good. Oh hi Troy. Huh? I feel like I said I'd do something. Hmm, what was it? Huh. During the coup d'etat, a lot of officials and servants got kicked out of the castle. Now those people are all busy back to work. Cleaning up after such an event's hard, though, so things won't go back to normal right away. Maybe it's because the signing ceremony is closed. Wait, wait, I see a lot of foreigners in the store. Hmm. Uh, I won't get this right now. Let's see, shop. What do you have? You... you make the material sandwich? Wow, 400 Mira for 1,900 HP, that's not bad. Let's get three of them. <laughs> A fisherman's guild. Ahem. <laughs> Welcome to the Fisherman's Guild. I am Fisher, or the Fishing Baron, as they call me. <laughs> Are you new applicants? If you like fishing, you're more than welcome. Estelle does fish. Oh, Lloyd. Oh, hey there, been a while, hasn't it? Oh, Lloyd. Hey, so you're back from Juan? How's the fishing been? Getting some use out of that rod I gave you? Kinda. I go in between work when I can. Skilled folk like you are always welcome at the Fisherman's Guild. If you ever want to join, you let Mr. Fisher know any old time. I'm sure he'll be overjoyed to have a new comrade. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I already talked to him though. Yeah, that points to... No. No, no, no. That... Hold on, that points to a little lakeshore. Mistwald for some reason. Oh, wait, no. 
Are we Royal Villa, maybe? Yeah, are we Royal Villa? The Sanctime Gate. Uh, Lyston Fortress. And... Genie's Royal Academy? Yeah, Genie's Royal Academy. Huh. I wonder why. And then the other one, the other red dot, is Grandsel. And the square is where we are. Yeah. You are here. You know about those garden fish? They're special to each region. I'd sure like to be able to fish one up myself someday. How do I apply for the Fisherman's Guild? Doesn't seem like I can, but okay. Horrible factory? Let's see. Do you have anything new? Oh, you have defense free. Oh boy, okay. Let's see. What does that give me? Earth wall. Yes. It's 60 EB. That's so much. Oh my god. Why? Why must you hate me so? Enemy with 10% chance. Huh. Art strength, art fence. Strike, strike with 10% success, that's pretty cool. Combine the effects of haze and heal. Oh. Wait, I don't remember exactly what haze and heal do. You don't have it here, do you? Yeah, you don't. Yeah, so I have one that's called Yi, called Yin, Yin Yang, that combines the effects of Haze and Heal, but I don't really know what Haze and Heal do, so... Uh, cool? <laughs> I think Heal, like, heals my HP for, in steps, like, depending how, on how much I walk, I, I heal. I think that's it, but I'm not sure. Dun, dun, dun. 
Maybe we should Google it? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Hold on. Let me Google it real quick. Trails in the sky. Let's see. Haze. What does haze do? Enemies become unaware of presence. Oh! Oh, that's really good, actually. That's awesome. It, it makes it so that enemies don't... Yeah, it makes it so that I can pass through enemies without, without them attacking me. Right? I, I get no aggro at all. But it's only in the field. If I, if I attack them, right? If I touch them in the field, then uh, a fight starts. But in the field, if I, can, if I just go... If I just walk, I can just walk through them and ignore them. Just fine. So, yeah, that's really useful. What about heal, then? Haze does that. Heal, what does, do, what does it do? Uh, HP slowly recovers by walking. Okay, so I was right. I was right. Okay, Yin Yang, I will not take it off. <laughs> Ever. That's really good. I really want to take off Eagle Eye. But I'll be without the... They will just ignore you and attack someone else. Oof. Oh no. I really don't want to have Eagle Eye there, but the game doesn't really give me much of a choice. I only... Because... Hmm. Eagle Eye is kind of useless since his tail has Heaven's Eye. Which is basically Eagle Eye but better. So... Eagle Eye here on Tito is useless. Worth it. But if I put range, if I take out Eagle Eye and put range, uh, I'll be without um, a status ailment. Let's see. Cures all abnormal status except KO, which is awesome. Which is also pretty awesome. I want to be without Cur Curia. Although... Everyone else do also does have Curia, so Tita not having Curia might not be all that bad. So, <laughs> I can't. But that's the thing. They're all grayed out. Quartz does not match elemental spot, so cannot install. It has to be this yellow orb, see? Like Eagle Eye or... It has to be this yellow one. And it can't be EP cut for some reason. Cannot install two... Oh, right, okay. It can't be EP cut because I already have it installed, so... Wait, hold on. Quartz? Let's see these yellow ones. Move one? Movement. Strike. Oh! Oh, this one. Critical, critical strike with 10% success. Let's put this one. Wait, let's put this one. What? Huh? Wait, what, what do you mean? I don't have strike there. What do you mean? I cannot install two, two of the same type of quartz. But it's not the same type of... Quartz does not match elemental... I hate you. Okay, do you have a range 2 at least? No, you don't. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? This no, doesn't make much sense. To be completely honest. Okay, I'll get freeze as well. Freeze seems useful. Let's upgrade this slot. And also on Olivier, let's up Oi, I have exactly 65 there. Oh no. Oops. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, uh... What about freeze? What does freeze do? Uh, okay, I can't install freeze. That's a shame. <laughs> oh, I can put freeze here. But you get rid of petrify? Wait. Petrify enemy with 10% success. Oh, yeah. Freeze enemy with 10% success. Well, I mean, petrify and, and freeze in this game are practically the same thing, so. Hmm. I think it's worth it. And I get Kuria back, so... But let me see. Let me see the rest. Oh, whoa. Are we taking off any fire? Yeah, are we take I'll be taking off any fire spell. And having freeze there? Let me see. Right. Seal enemy crafts with 10% success. That might actually be more worth it. Although TRO and La Tiara are great, are really good. Mm. Cast 2 is also amazing. I can't put Freeze anywhere else. Oh. Defense 2. I still have the same things, apparently. Okay. Then... It's still... Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't have Earth Wall. But... Hmm. With Freeze, I won't be able to get Earth Wall. But at the same time, Earth Wall in this game is so expensive. In the last game, it was like, what, 18 EP or something? And this game cost 60, 60 EP, which is abysmal. The reason why Earthwall was so good in the first game was because it was very cheap and it, uh, and it uh, defended everyone. It was because of Earthwall that I was able to beat the, the final boss in the first place, in the first game. But in this game, it's 60 EP. It costs so much. So, I'm not sure if it's worth it to have it. But I kind of prefer having it than not. I'm not getting rid of EP cut. No way. Oh wait, no. That it's 60 EP with the EP cut. Without the EP cut. It's 75. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, that's so much. Let me see if there's an EP cut free. Let's get let's get it. Now let's give it to, to Stell. EP cut free. Oh, and I accept. What does that do, I wonder? Okay, now Earthwall is 53 EP. Can I cut it down further? No. Right. Wait, I still have Dark Matter? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Wait, uh, let's go back to attack free. Although attack free only gives us the flare arrow. So I don't know if it's all that worth it. Strength, 9%. Yeah, the, the strength goes up by a lot. Hmm. Zacharias. Doesn't matter how busy he is, Tom will never refuse a request. Even though we'd make a lot more selling a new product than doing some stupid stupid part repairs. I wish Tom would start thinking about profits first. With that you just you just made me a fan of Tom. Hey, welcome! It's the repairs desk! If you've got a broken ornament, I can fix it for you here. Ornaments can break. I... Okay. I didn't even know ornaments could break. But it doesn't seem like it's an actual thing in the game. Might be cut content, maybe? I don't know. Hey, welcome to the capital. Why not have some popcorn while you're taking a break? What do you have? Mobility popcorn. Movement plus two. Wow. Popcorn snack. So airy. You'll feel lighter if you eat it. Let's get three of them. Actually, no. Four of them. Hi, dick. <laughs> Don't think uh, I forgot you. Troy is late. Again. I want to get out of the harbor and play. His name is Dick. I feel so sorry for you. You... Your parents don't like you at all, do they? The likelihood Troy will be late for our great time is 83%. He's always getting sidetracked side -tracked by something. Not like it's gonna be any different today. Wow. Dang, really? Nona. This is the center of Libero, the royal capital grandson. We might have had a coup d'etat not too long ago, but it's all back to normal now. Who named this kid? His poor, poor parents. Sweet crepe. Mystery crepe. Low cavalry despite the contents. Truly a mystery. HP 3200. Wow. You're still mute and confused. Wow. Movement plus 1, speed plus 10%. <laughs> I like how this... The saccharine dessert brimming with cream. I'll buy two, and I'll buy two of these as well. The south block here has the Bracer Guild and lots of shops. The north block has the kingdom's largest hotel, and further north of that is Grensel Castle. The West Block's known for the liberal news and the cathedral. 
and the Xbox got embassies from neighboring countries, the Grand Arena and the department store. Right, right, I forgot an important point. On the other side of the West Block, there is a port and a warehouse district. It was closed off during the coup d'etat. No one could get in. Interesting. What Tenya? If you want to go to the Royal Villa, it's right out that gate there and south along the Royal Avenue. When you hit the fork in the road at the guidepost, next head towards the Gurune Gate. Then once you hit the next fork, head south and you should reach the Royal Villa. You shouldn't get lost as long as you make sure to read the guidepost carefully. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, weapons. Welcome, welcome to Wise Arms and Guards. We have all kinds of weapons. Please take a look. Let's see. It's just better. It's just better. It's just better, yet again. S launcher. It's just better, even though it has a smaller, smaller area, but that's fine. Air shooter. What? A bow and arrow? Isn't that for Kevin? Kevin isn't in my party. And this would be for Agat, but... Hmm. He's not in my party either. Anyway, let's buy this one as well. Enhanced, and oh wait no, fiber suit. Full body defensive wear made from special woven fibers. Fibers, not fibers. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Okay, uh, Tita's defense right now is 380 and an art defense is 50. Only goes up by 10 for Tita, and then it goes down, Art Fence goes down to 19. Wow, that's, that's kind of bad. But everyone else, it seems to be a good idea. Wow, agility on Olivia goes down so much. And dexterity as well. Wow, that is a lot. Hmm. That is quite a lot. It might be worth it for Olivier, but it is worth it for Estelle and Scara, so... Clamp Choker. Okay, uh -huh. okay, nothing new here in the accessories department. Striga F. Defense 60, movement to plus 1. Nice. <laughs> it might be worth it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's kinda worth it. It's kind of worth it for all of them. Yeah. I'll buy for all of them. Five rings came. Oh, hi, Pat. Thank you. Thank you again. Wait, what, what, why was I running around with this one here? Oh, maybe it was on Tita before, yeah. Just that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Is Infinite's jacket not good? Uh, no. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> it's the same as the one I bought, but worse. And the, the Genius Bows does give, like, art defense and speed and agility. But... Compared to the, the defense that the new suit gives, it just... Yeah, the defense that this new suit gives is just too good. It's just way too good, so... Yeah. Gonna end up sacrificing that. Strength plus 40. I'm gonna miss that. Oh. Hmm. Is that all that extra defense worth it? To get rid of the art strength? I mean, even with the art strength lower, he still has nothing on. On his base, so Celebration is over and the town's regained its calm. This quiet sure is nice. Ah, there it is. Okay, we restocked on new equipment. Let's go to the west block. You can see the whole west block from here. Hi, Gus. It's my favorite spot. Is Nio here? Welcome to the Liberal News Service. The first floor here is reception. And the second floor is our editorial room. Hi, Natasia. Ah, uh, Nio takes top posting this time, huh? Yup. Ultimately, we don't really know the reason why Elmo's hot springs were boiling. The editor-in-chief told me it was a real half-assed article. Uh. Juan's new mayor decided. Huh. Kind of tame coming from Nio, but it's not bad. Alright, too bad for Norticia, but this looks like it'll be our next headline. Looks like they're in a meeting. Huh? My break is ending soon, and I am not in a position to hear you, but I wave to you. Ah! 
Here's a headpad for you! A headpad for you, kid! <laughs> you're always welcome, even though you're not hearing me. Maybe if I scream loud enough, you'll hear me, I don't know. All the way from Portugal to the US, wherever you live in the US, but still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are racers? You're welcome to enter the sewers, but it's dark inside, so be careful. Yeah, I heard there's a monster here. And the Grand Soul sewers are such a labyrinth. Unfortunately. Oh, hey, I can fish here. <laughs> I guess I'll go with the pieces heart. Uh, row. Okay. I only have one row, but sure. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Rock eater. Well, juicy bone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Red flies. Let's try red flies. Yeah, many tender white fish. Okay, what about river bark? Days tender white fish again. Okay. Let's go with the progress draw this time. Polycate. Crab. I got the crab. Oh, I can use these fish as... Oh, I can use these fish as bait as well. I forgot about that. Let's try a shrimp wood. It's very shrimp -o. Another crab. Okay. Let's use the day instead. What does the day give me? Another rock eater. Ooh, what's 20 years there? Okay. I'll take that. Yemeni. Yemeni, I don't know. Another rock eater. Orfsep is 100? Wow. I can get rich pretty quickly here then. What about Earthworm? If you get another Crab or Rock Eater, I'll redeem both Hydrate and Half Pack. Well, I, I got a Neil. Leathery Tail. Okay. Uh, wait. Well, I have like 14 Earthworm, so let's try. Let's try maybe like three more times. Oh, I gotta wait. Okay, let's try again. Another deal. A wet retail. Again. Okay, let's try again. Let's see if I get another deal. Oh, a crab. <laughs> well.
Hmm. What does the leathery tail do? What is it used for? The troublesome to cook, it has an excellent flavor. I have 70 leathery tails. <laughs> okay. Oh, and there it is. Hey, <laughs> thank you. Tender whitefish 12. Okay, that tells me that it's not as easy to come by tender whitefish than it is anything else. What is tender whitefish used for? Exactly. Mm -hmm. For Garden of Seedon. Okay, sit down. Plus CP20. Okay. Oh, it's just for seafood jelly. Oh, that's awesome. It's actually pretty awesome. Gonna make... Can make 10, but I'll make 5 for now. Weak to anything. Cool. You're weak to literally anything. <laughs> decent, decent amount of experience as well. Okay. Great. <gasps> Bomb. 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 Hey. Oh no. Oh no. I'm nowhere near strong enough for it. And it ran away. I'm nowhere near strong enough to beat it. If Olivier had Dark Matter, then it would be way better. And that attack strength that I got rid of. <laughs> yeah, okay. I kinda dug my own hole there. I'm gonna get a lot of level ups out of this. down let me see okay mystery paste huh you find another that <laughs> well welcome you can your first time here I think I didn't check the first <laughs> fine you find a message sc scratched along the bottom lose this chance and do your worst but be warned for ye be cursed <laughs> Uh, 
I I don't know exactly which way it's facing, okay. No, I do. Mystery Pace do. HP 2400 cures all status ailments. The real mystery is why anyone would eat this. Okay, so heals to 2400, which is pretty good at this point in the game anyway, and then cures all status effects. Just like that. That's awesome. It's basically an instant Kukuria, except I only have one of them, <laughs> but still. I have to learn the, the recipe for it. Okay, you're weak too? Fire. Fire! Oh! Okay, never mind. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be using fire at all. And hello, it's my it's my first time here. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't be using fire for those enemies. It's just a waste of VP. Gotcha. Oh no. Zerum capsule. Wait, is that what I think it is? Oh, oh my God! There's nothing more overpowered than this. Oh my Jesus! Cures KO, heals all HP, restores 200 CP, which is a maximum. Zerum powder was already awesome. Wow. Oh my god, I want to get more Zerum capsules. They, they seem to be rare though. I, I've only gotten two Zerum powders and I found now a Zerum capsule. Powder and capsule is good. Yeah, these Zerum um, items, like Zerum powder and Zerum capsule, they're awesome, they're amazing. <laughs> Miss? Miss? Wait, what? What do you mean? Oh, uh, yeah, um, Scarab missed before, it's fine. Oh, there is a monster. But before that, actually, hold on, let, let's level up. Before then, before that. Okay, now I know where the, the, the boss is. Smelling salts. For sale, reviving bomb, never used. <laughs> Wait, did I take a picture of the other? Wait, hold on. I don't remember if I took a picture or not. Really? He moved at the last second. You suck. I don't remember if I took a picture. Whoa. Ah! 
these enemies are very easy to to kill, thankfully. Okay, that's Tita. What about the others? Olivia is still a long way to go, but Estelle and Scara will will level up soon. You open the chest to find hundreds of hissing snakes and immediately close it again. Good thing you already got whatever item was in there. <laughs> okay, yeah, I forgot to to read it. To read the dialogue. Oh, okay, yeah. I think I remember. <laughs> Accidental preemptive attack. Silver gauntlets for Zin, nice. For every extra item you take from a treasure chest, a creepy sheep is sheared. <laughs> Good to know. Evil armor. Ooh, sounds cool. You open the chest to find a band bandan. Bandane? Ben Bandane? Man, hiding inside. Just kidding, it's empty. <laughs> What's Edo armor? Oh, is it man only? Yeah, man only. Oh wow. The defense goes up by an insane amount. Dexterity and agility go down a little bit, but honestly? Wow. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Absolutely. This one is great. Edo armor is great. What about the red jacket? Oh, I meant only. Okay, never mind. That seems to be everything that I can explore on this side, so let's go to the other side. Mm -hmm. Wait. Wait, I already went here, right? Just, yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here... Where is, here is the entrance. Yeah, it's the entrance. Okay. Wasn't there an enemy here before? I thought there was. <laughs> oh right, I need to go to the east block to open up the... Yeah, yeah, okay. I need to go to the east block to open up the place. Yeah, okay. Kind of forgot about that. Not much longer until they level up. Mm -hmm. 
You missed! Really? Petrified! The enemies are... haven't spawned? Huh. What about now? No, they didn't. Okay. I don't think it's gonna matter, but... Let's try anyway. And of course, it, it went away. Oh, it, just, it was just one more turn and I would have got, gotten it. That would have been a level up for sure. For everyone. Well, not everyone, but at least Estelle and Scarra. You both missed. Oh, wait, I just realized it doesn't restore EP. Oh, if it restored EP, then it would be, it would be, the amazing. But oh well. using your skills, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. Okay, let's try this. Exterminate. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, the sound of... The music of pain. And they're already dead. And what does CP do? Um, EP is for, is basically for magical attacks, or magical skills, while CP is for uh, physical. Wow. What the hell was that? I'm, I'm gonna die. I already know I'm gonna die, but... Oh my god! <laughs> my love, I, get to... I think you should run! Oh, absolutely. Are there more enemies? Oh what, she has a mini- yeah, she has a minigun. Oh, and more enemies spawn in. Oh, that's cool. That... Yeah, sure. Because it couldn't get any worse. Why are there more enemies spawning in? And they're not attacking me like they were before. Let me 
show you the truth. There it is. Okay, we're starting off with with better luck this time. <laughs> what the heck was all that? Oh my god. What are you even weak to? Fire. Fire. Everything. Again. <laughs> I had I had a pretty good advantage before, but now, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
That's fine. No. What do you mean? Why can't I use... Okay. Oh, because I'm stuck. They have me surrounded, that's it. That's why. Yeah, okay. They had me, they had scarrows around us, so I couldn't use Heaven's Kiss.
Don't lose, Jodr. I won't. The, the point is not losing. That's not the one I meant to use. Oh no. Um. Okay. Calm down. Just calm down. <laughs> I won. I won. I won. I've basically won. Oh. Oh, are we done already? Oh my god. Oh. These these fights is like special enemies are always so stressful and so difficult. Level up for Estelle and Scara. Estelle won True Comets. Alright, cool. What does True co Comet do? Save. 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 Okay. I don't, don't know what True Comet does. You can take for the headpack. Oh man, these special enemies are always so tough. Mm -hmm. But I got everything, I believe. <laughs> Just run. Congrats for winning the, the battle and lost. I only lost one time, yeah. I usually lose several times. So yeah, that's an improvement over the usual. <laughs> Curry of dreams, sure, give me. What do you have in the shop? Nap killer. Cure sleep. Just one sip and feel the power of caffeine! <laughs> A fresh herb scented sandwich. Okay, it seems pretty easy to make. Hey, I know that face. You're the bracer lady who's a friend of Niles, right? Welcome to Baral Coffee House, known for its coffee and rice curry. Nice. 
Oh, wait. The arrow weapon shop wasn't bad, but... Yeah, this cafe really is the best place to relax. If I get sleepy, I ju can just get some coffee. It's perfect for reading. <laughs> Calling yourself a maiden? How very like you. What? A rice curry lunch for two young maid maidens at an outdoor cafe. <laughs> How very like us. Okay. <laughs> Hello, how are you feeling? In this walk, there is a cathedral, the liberal news, and a great cafe. If you want to have a quiet, sophisticated experience, there's no walk better than West Walk. Oh, cool. Oh. Also, zone for food service. Still for sale, okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think I remember your name. My husband's been working his butt off at the harbor ever since we blew our savings at the casino in Juan. I guess the shock of losing that much finally made him see the error of his ways. Or not, I want to believe that, but I won't take my eyes off of him just yet. Oh yeah, I remember that quest. Oh, cute. Cute teddy bear. There. And rabbit. Although the rabbit isn't a a 3D, uh, 3D object like the teddy bear, it's just a 2D sprite, but still, cool. There is no one here. And what about here? <laughs> There's someone. Oh, Sikaru! Hi! My wife runs the department store in the East Block. What about me, you ask? Mm, I guess I'm something of a priest. I'm not a house husband. Nope, not at all. What's the problem of being a house husband? That sounds like a dream, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Shut down. No, how are you feeling? Oh, there's a cathedral. Okay, yeah, yeah, alright. Just wasn't 100% sure. Yeah, this is the hotel. Oh no, General Morgan's residence. My husband's ex expression when he heard about he heard that General Cassius would be returning was oddly positive. I wish you could have seen it. Oh, huh, neat. The good sir, uh, General Morgan, can be a very scary person. But you know what? <laughs> He's totally under his wife's thumb. Huh. Funny. Ah, uh, it's the nice people who rescued me. Did you come to play? Oh. I, I don't remember you. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> I don't remember you. It was probably a side quest of some sort. Where do we... Hmm? Renzo N Warehouse Discreet. This was closed up before, wasn't it? Huh. Did you, did you visit the harbor yet? Cargo of loading isn't as common in the harbor as it used to be. Lately, the warehouse district's more being used as rental storage space. Hmm. Oh, come on, can't you stop squirming for one second? Churches are so boring. Agreed. Hmm. This is Grandfather Cathedral. It's just as incredible as the rumors say. Ah, have you come to pr to pray too? The goddess of the sky watches over us all, always. Grandfather Cathedral is so big, love. Yes, you're right. 
Our house could easily fit inside of it. Mine too, honestly. I've been to houses with living rooms bigger than my own house. <laughs> the other day when I visited the Sanctime Gate, I felt the earthquakes that everyone's talking about. Oh yeah, you were talking to... Tammy. <laughs> and you wanted out of there as soon as possible. And I get it, man. I get it. <laughs> Though they are over now, the folks in Zeiss must still be quite nervous. After all, earthquakes can happen suddenly with no warning. Oh, are you the one he spoke of, perhaps? Who's he? I don't think I know anyone here. The gods save those who save themselves. May you find good guidance. What? Wait, who's he, though? And the goddess saves who saves themselves? Isn't that whole point of God that he will save you? Like, as long as you repent and mean that repentance, right? Like, you're for real. And don't repeat your mistakes. And if you do rep repeat your mistakes, what's important is that you try your hardest to not repeat them. Anyway, like, isn't the whole point of God that he will save you? Like, but then this one, the goddess seems, she sounds kind of lazy. <laughs> like, oh, you saved yourself. Good. Okay. Then consider yourself saved by me if you saved yourself. That makes sense. door is locked. Okay. Wait. Oh, it's exactly the same? Yeah, it's exactly the same, but there's someone else. Sister Noah. Oh, hi, Noah. I like Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I also like the Noah's Ark story. It's pretty neat. Kind of. Phew, all done. I finally finished repairing the Heim book. Things have gotten busy ever since Sister, Sister Ellen disappeared. I wonder if they'll send a replacement soon. Hm. I don't know. Well, let's go to the warehouse. This was closed off before in the first game. So let's see. Oh, th this has to be a spot for fishing. Ah, oh, what a lovely lake. Yes, it's a lake. Okay. <laughs> this is my first time at the port. I'm excited. I like this place. Cool. I hate having lots of free time, but being too busy is no good either. Okay, yeah, agreed. It's about time to clean up and organize the warehouses. It's gonna start getting real busy around here. Hmm. How is there... Well, hold on. There has to be a spot for fishing around here, come on. There has to be. There's even this guy's fishing. So this guy came up to me a bit ago and BAM! I got the fishing rod. Don't know why, but if someone wants to give me free stuff, I ain't saying no. Figured I might as well try fishing if I've got it too. Huh. <laughs> okay. There's no fishing spot here? Are you kidding me? How? How? Why? Why? Why is no fishing spot here? See, this looks like a prime fishing spot. Okay, no, hold on. Uh, this on this side, on this side. There has to be, on this side. Come on. Oh, wait. Before moving on, this is the management office for the warehouse district. Okay. Oh, hey, Faye. Oh, wait, no. The, the same sprite, but not fake. I could never hope to compare to you, sir. Technology is one of those things you sort of get better working with over time. Hmm. I've been working here for two years, Larry. And recently they assigned me to oversee a new guy. I've been all jittery ever since. 
see this new guy? He's older than me. And on top of that, he's married. I thought maybe I'll... I tried to act like I had tons of experience, but... What a joke. As if I could act like that in front of a guy who's obviously way more experienced than I am. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. He's a new guy. That means he has no experience in this field. You have a, a lot more experience than him in this field. That's what matters in this case. Like... I've taught several people older than me that were already married or even retired. Uh, I've taught them how to use a PC or how to use a, an audio equipment, right? How to handle microphones and all that XLR cable stuff. Like, it's fine. It's fine. If the person isn't a big baby, like an actual immature brat, you're good. Honestly, okay. You have to jitter a little bit. Okay, it's fine. Oh, it's rare to see customers come without an appointment. Feel yo. I don't know if you're. Hey! You're the people who beat me at the casino in Rouen. Oh, yeah, you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Nice to see you too, I guess? Uh, listen, please. After that, I tried making up for the money I'd lost with all kinds of gambles, but... That match with you was where my luck turned. When I realized everything I'd won had disappeared, well... Really? That's kinda sad. Gambling for riches is not but a fleeting dream of a single night, destined never to come true. Yeah, if only I'd figured it out sooner. I guess it's true of anything. But you should always know when to quit. I didn't, and I made things hard for my wife because of that. I'm gonna do all I can to make it up to her. Oh. This office here manages work in the harbor walk. You'll take orders for transport on freight ships and use with freight? Maybe freight. And use of uh, the rental warehouse. Honestly not sure if it's freight or fright. But it can't be fright, because fright is only without the E, so it can't be has to be freight. Yeah. But then there's also height with a he, with an e, and then height with just an i. And they're both words, so. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Wait. Height. Hey? Yeah, height and height. Yeah, so I, I have no idea. English does not have consistent rules. Uh, it will work. Yeah, I'll just say freight. If you've got some work to ask about, ask at a counter. Okay. I'll go with uh, freight until proved otherwise. Until said otherwise by a native English person. Like it was with Agate. At first, before, in every other uh, trail stream, every time his name came up, I would just say Agate or Agat, Agate, Agate. I, I had no idea how to pronounce his name. And then an English, nat a native English person. And then I realized, like, uh, Bio, who is a native English person, definitely not from Bengali. <laughs> Um, uh, told me it's Agate, and just, oh, so it's Agate, okay, hmm? just calm down and think, what are you gonna say, Joder? What do you mean? I'm talking about Agate, well, it, it's a character name, and Agate is also like a, a, a mineral, or something? Whoa. League of Legends. I, I've never played League of Legends, nor am I interested. <laughs> but, okay, moving on. Whoa. Yeah, haha. <laughs> eh? You want something? If you're looking to rent one of the warehouses, talk to the office. I'm just looking for a fishing spot. Like, this looks like a prime place for a fishing spot, but there's no fishing... What are you doing here, little girl? Mama, where are you? I might be desynced, I'll fix it. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I smell uh, a side quest. <laughs> a little girl is lost. Oh, hey, another one of these. Over here, okay. This warehouse place is actually pretty big. Harbors have a great atmosphere. I'd really love to confess my love to my girlfriend in a place like this. Actually not, not bad. I mean, there are these crates and it's a workplace and also I'm not sure how the workers will feel about that, but still. Is there really no fishing place? No, no fishing spot, really? How? Ah! That's what you said, you can write. Ah! Welcome! Wanna see how I do my job while you're here? No. Come to sightsee in the harbor? In the harbor? You're free to look around, but don't get in the way of work. Right, okay. <laughs> Wait, can I go on the ship? Ella, wow. I can even go on the ship and everything. Oh, Duncan. Wait, I, I remember your name. Yes. I, and I'm still desynced. Oh. Oh, crap. The, the stream might be, might be behind, actually. Might be lagging. All ships that come into the capital port have to pass through Juan's Rubine River, but with Juan missing a mayor, ship traffic inspections getting delayed. Thanks to that, our work's a heck of a lot harder than normal. That sucks. Come to see an orbital boat? <laughs> Go ahead. Look around as much as you'd like. No, no, your stream is fine, but it's on my, my end. Ah, gotcha. Man, what a gorgeous blue sky. You can see the crown peaks clear as day. Hmm. There's a fishing spot. That took a while. Riverbug and red flies only. Wow. A salmon oh, and two rows. Cool, yo. I love salmon. I love salmon so much. It's one of my favorite fish ever. Rainbow trout. Okay. Whoa, that was a lot of sepip that gave me. Okay, let's switch to progress rod. Hi, Jack Wolf. Wait. I need attention. Okay. Crab. <laughs> I smell somebody's fishing. Hi, Jack Wolf. Uh, you probably you probably followed in one of my trails in the sky streams, maybe. Like, from a while ago? Maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, it doesn't say that you're, a f that you're chatting for the first time, so you were here before. But I'm sorry, I'm not recognizing, I'm not remembering you. I probably just don't see you in a good while. I haven't seen you in a good while. But hey, how are you doing? I hope you're, I hope you're doing well. Bum, bum, bum. Da, 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 da. Another crab? Okay. Let's try and again. I know, I'm doing well. Awesome. Glad to hear that. Okay, <laughs> just, just crabs. How you doing? I'm actually doing pretty well so f at the moment. Uh, hold on. Maximum focus. Must focus. Another crab. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go to the pieces heart again. Let's try red flies. But yeah, I'm doing well, thankfully. Yesterday I was also streaming and, well, I had a big headache, bellyache, my... Oh. Like, everything hurt. <laughs> but... 
Thankfully, I'm doing fine now. Mm -hmm. Another salmon. And two more rolls. Oh, I hope you're doing well. Yes, I am. I am doing fine now, thankfully. Uh, I guess I'll stop here. Seems like I got a good amount of stepping. Oh, by the way, Jack Wolf, uh, you might be able to uh, to answer a question I had before about pronunciation of an English word. Is it freight boat or fright boat? It's like F R E I G H T. Is it freight boat or fright boat? Romans of the Open Sea is something you can only understand if you've seen it on a boat firsthand. Yeah, thank you. I'm doing well now. Oh, a normal boat. Kind of embarrassing to admit, but this is my first time seeing one. Huh. Didn't realize you could pile this much stuff onto an orbital boat. Mm -hmm. I was having that question before. I didn't know how to pronounce if it was either freight or fright boat, but I, I don't know. Okay, doesn't seem like there's anything else. This little girl here, this little girl here is probably for a side quest. Afterwards, I don't know. The mother will go to the guild. To the guild. <laughs> Wait, there's still this part here? Yeah, I didn't see this part. F fright? Food? What? Freight boat. This warehouse has a nice peaceful atmosphere. Oh my! What? Where's my daughter gotten off to now? Oh. Uh, I can show you if you want. <laughs> okay, nothing here. No fishing spot. Oh. What do you guys want? I'm not skipping work. I'm patrolling to see if there's anyone suspicious around. Yeah. But I guess it's frightful. Maybe. Oh no. Dun dun dun. Dun dun Oh, hey, you! Move over, coming through! I got deliveries to make! Yeah, the mailman! I am the milkman, my milk is delicious! <laughs> I am the mailman, my mail arrives on time, I don't know. Even though fishing is my passion, my wife beat me in beat me in joining the Fisherman's Guild. She's apparently been going to the lake pretty often while I've been away at work. And man, the gap between our abilities is only just going to keep getting bigger. Hmm. Incidentally, I haven't even joined the Fisherman's Guild myself. My humiliation is deep and profound. Why don't you go there right now? Hehe, <laughs> I bought a new rod to replace my old one recently. I've been using the same rod since I started fishing, so I thought it was about time for an upgrade. Now then, what to do with my old rod? My husband only uses new top-class rods, you see, so I had to keep up. You... you fish, don't you? Huh? Well, some. How did you know? Well then, allow me to offer you this. Oh. Wow, thank you. Make sure to catch plenty, plenty of fish with it. My husband was so busy with fishing and work, he didn't pay me a moment's notice. 
That's why I decided to take my husband down, down the bag by beating him at his own hobby. He ignored his sweet wife, and I intend to make him pay dearly. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Wait, hold on, let's go back to that fishing spot again. And try out the new fishing rod. Wait. <laughs> Let's see. What can I use? Oh, I can use all the crabs. And frog. Okay. Okay, great. Let's try using crabs. Oh. Alright. What about dumplings? I only have one, but. Sure. Oh. Okay. What about River Snail? Is it uh, the fishing rod itself? The most basic rod and tackle limits the usable types of bait, but I can sometimes catch surprisingly big fish. Okay. The last one, let's try frog. We're gonna amphibia everyone. We're gonna teach everyone about amphibia. Oh, finally. Valeria base. Wow. And a silver earring on top. Nice. Lucky Fang. Not sure what that does, but I'll check it out later. Snakehead. Lucky Fang yet again. Okay, let's just do one more and then move on. Uh, let me see what time is it. Oh, I don't have much time to stream actually. It's already nearly 6 pm. Mm. Another snake and another lucky thing, okay. How many lucky things do I have? Is it something that can be... Okay, something I can get pretty easily. I have 36 of them, so... Okay. But what is it used for? Doesn't seem like it's used for any any of the, the recipes that I have currently. Oh, hydrate, thank you. Thank you, you can. Oh crap. I spilled some water. This is test reading. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I spilled some water, how? It's sealed tight. How how did I spill the water? My pineapple is sealed tight. What? Okay. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, and yes, if, in case you're wondering, I have a, a pineapple-shaped bottle. 
<laughs> for for high for hydrating during streams. It's great. Yep, still desynced. Got nothing to do about it. R.I.P. Pineapple Water. <laughs> uh. Hey, Fritz. Oh, Estelle, I haven't seen you since the birth birthday celebrations, I believe. Are you here on business today? Please, enjoy your stay. Huh? Is this just my imagination? He doesn't look too well. Perhaps it's because uh, the non-aggression pact signing is drawing near. But lately I've received countless more inquiries about stays from foreign guests. <laughs> These times are on their way. Is that why he's not feeling well? Hmm. The music here feels similar with Legend, Legend of Zelda dump. Majora's Mask? Forest Maze. Uh, by the masks, you, make, you mean like Majora's Mask? The Forest Maze. I, I'm not sure. I've only ever played Majora's Mask once, just a long while ago. I did 100% it. It was painful, but I did it. It was great. It was a really good game, but... I don't remember the music that much. Only a few. Like the song of Huey. Like... I was kind of obsessed with that music for a, for a good while. I... I don't know why, I was always... I got so obsessed with the Song of Healing. I really liked it for some reason. Hmm? I've always wanted to say, stay in this hotel. It's so nice, isn't it? Yep, like that. Right. The Song of Healing? I don't hear the similarities, I'm sorry. I don't really hear the similarities to this, to the Song of Healing. Mm -hmm. That gets kinda lazy without a big event like the martial arts competition or the big birthday or the birthday celebration going on. He can't really run the family except when there's something going on. But, I mean, that's how it is, isn't it? After all, mom's the real head honcho in our house. Hmm. Okay. Oh, how peaceful. This is so boring. I can't even muster up the will to work. Really? Are you kidding me? That man really is trouble sometimes. I've got to get him to cheer up and go to, and go to work. Wow. <laughs> Wait, what are you, what's her name again? Helena. Okay. Or Helena, I don't know. Helena. <laughs> oh wait. Marsha. A while back, I was being followed around by a man on the stairs in front of the department store. That was creepy and scary. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, hey, this is a Calvardian embassy. Sorry, but unless you have some business here, I'm afraid I can't let you enter. Okay, I'll come back with Zin later. Hey, yeah. Apparently the Grand Arena is closed since they don't have any shows. A little sad, huh? Mm. Yeah, I still remember the, the Grand Tournament and everything to school. I had uh, Lottie with her, with her shoulder privileges as well, which was really fun. Oh, so this is the Grand Arena. 
Or are these the doors closed? Yep. Miss Schwartz of the Royal Capital of the Royal Guard, Guard was recently promoted to captain, I understand. Oh, considering her ability and successes, it's only natural. Oh, that symbol on your chest. Miss, you're a bracer, aren't you? Good work with your job and very impressive at your age. Oh, thank you. Adorable. Hello, good soldier. Have you been well? Uh, Olivier? Where the heck have you been? Oh, what is it? Er, uh, nothing. You've been hiding from us ever since you went to Elmo for a little break, haven't you? Mueller was livid. Heh, <laughs> as always a very cute man. Wait, Olivier. You haven't been keeping quiet to the embassy about working with us, have you? Heh, <laughs> Rhodes wandered in search of love our roles to travel in secret, but of course. The heck is that supposed to mean? The Imperial Crest got some real power behind it now that I've had a chance to see it up close. <laughs> and here was when I got drugged. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is quite a secret spot. Yeah, this is. This was. Yeah. Would it be cool if if I went through these stairs and it would trigger a memory in Stell about who she passed through and that it was Weissman? Or Professor Alba, but yeah, we already know this is uh, Weissman. Or Weissman. I heard there was a good ice cream stand around here. Yep. I know people say I'm the purveyor of ice cream to the royal family. That's just a dumb rumor. Though if Lady Claudia ate my ice cream, I'd be happy to hear that. Death message. <laughs> Ultima ice cream. Royal gelato. Uh, I keep saying no. We'll wait and see what. I mean, we'll wait and see is usually pretty good. I always have it turned on. Seems like there have been earthquakes happening in Zeiss lately. I haven't gone in a while, but are almost hot springs okay? Yep. Okay, these two are twin sisters. Are you still envious, Kitty? The other day everyone in the store went to see the famous Bose market. Everyone in the market was working so hard. Just touching to see. Oh, you're not envious of her anymore? Cool. Uh, the golden rule to making the best tea is... I always get sleepy when it comes to anything with the name studying attached to it. Uh, no, no. All its effort is to reclaim the position of tea sales staff my sister stole from me. Oh. Oh wait, no, it was all the opposite. I said it before because it kept buffering. Oh. Weird. I'm tired from walking around, so I'm going to take a break here. Oh, hello! 
Oh hi, I have your armor. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the Edo department store. Our store is ever striving to take down the Bose market. Wait, hold on. Hold on a second. Edo armor. Heightens the mind. So, this armor came from this store? From Edo? Okay. That, okay. Welcome! The Edo department store has everything from souvenirs to daily goods. Anti-cold helmet. Oh! That is really good! And just like that I'm pretty much out of mirror. Let's make it official. I'm out of mirror. Interesting. Welcome, you guys. Oh, wait, hold on, sorry. I'm getting a call. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, okay, uh, it's, it's past 6 p.m. I'm gonna stream for 15 more minutes and then I'll I'll go. I got lots of good souvenirs at nice prices. You guys, tourists? Okay. I don't have any that went freeze. Okay. Already have this that prevents freeze, but hold on. I think the one I just bought is actually better, isn't it? Yeah, it's better. Poison and blind. Range two, uh, then poison. Hmm. Petrify poison. I'll put this one on. Take away the, the range. Let's hope it was range plus two, but let's hope that doesn't do much. One of the heads of the coup d'etat. Duke Dunan seems to be under house arrest by orders of the Queen. A person who's apparently the Duke's butler comes and shops here at the store from time to time. But for some reason, he always just buys donuts and comics. Yeah, that butler. The, that poor butler. Duke Dunan's butler is probably the most tragic character so far. The store is currently off limits. Wait till we've had a lot of more foreign visitors in the capital, you see? We're up in security to make sure they don't get lost and wander in. Okay, fair. Then, those other parts and other chests that were in the sewers are currently off limits. That's fine. Oh yeah, the History Museum. Welcome, welcome to the History Museum. The Tricyclic Tower Outer Wall segment. Preceptium? This wall segment was cut and carried fro from a tetracyclic tower. A structure built shortly after the Great Collapse. Depicted upon it are a staff-wielding priest and a winged god-like being. Typical of period frescas, scholars continue to examine the design for any connection with Adios. Huh. Okay. Stone pillar with relief. Preceptium? Found at the bottom of Lake Valyria, 
adorned with reliefs similar to those found on the walls of the tetracyclic towers. Flo f a floor tile. A piece of tiled floor from inside a ruined building. Broken stones fit together to create beautiful and intricate patterns. Ah. Ancient lantern. A device built to hold fire. Most often found near towers and other ceremonial structures, may have religious significance. Precepting Calendar The ancient civilization of Zemuria. Around 1200 years ago, the advanced civilization of Zemuria was at its peak, then suddenly and inexplicably disappeared. Just like every ancient civilization in RPGs. A great collapse occurred, destroying the Zemurian culture and plunging its people into a dark age of ruin. Ah, a great collapse. The items exhibited on the first floor are from the very beginning of this area. They aren't believed to be products of the ancient civilization itself, but nonetheless its influence is clearly visible upon them, giving them immense academic worth. Interesting, okay. Septon Calendar 1-500, to The Dark Age of Ruin. Immediately following the Great Collapse, the world was plunged into confusion, signaling the beginning of what came to be referred as the Dark Ages. Two as the Dark Ages. This era was defined by almost endless conflict between various powers and numerous nations, large and small, and lasted for roughly 500 years. Knight's Equipment Seven Calendar 500 In an era defined by conflict, War became a way of life, and as a result, warriors came to wield great influence in society. This eventually led to them becoming a privileged so social class of their own. The knights wielded armaments like this when they went out onto the battlefield, returning with more spoils and land, and gradually increasing their influence and power all the more. Hmm. And, okay, yeah, I read all of this before when I played the first game, but I already forgot all of it, so... Oh, hey, Santos, I remember you. You, aren't you? Who are you again? Ouch. <laughs> I'm Santos with the History Museum. I asked you to take photos of the tower in Juan. Oh, yeah, there was that, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember now. So how did it go after that? Find out anything about the tower's vice? No, embarrassingly, I haven't really had any success. success. Everything about it is just so unknown. However, we do know the tower itself was built during the ancient Zemuria er Zemurian era. Better, better than nothing? First, I suppose I need to check out what references we have in that area. Hmm. Archaeology doesn't seem like the kind of thing that com comes up with results that easily, huh? I guess all I can say is, good luck. Yes, I'll do my best thinking of this as the first step to uncovering lost ancient knowledge. These mysterious devices in the ancient towers that activated, investigating them is my job. The devices are placed on the roofs of the ruined towers, and their purpose is completely unknown. We're continuing to research them, but we still haven't had any significant uh, progress. However, we did discover the towers themselves were built in the Zemurian age. I'll just have to slowly peruse through references about that. Good luck, Santos. Septian, eleven fifty to twelve hundred, the Orwell post-revolutionary world. It's been only fifty years since Professor C. Epstein invented ornaments, and world technology has advanced at lightning speed ever since. Perhaps the most notable representative of these advances is the modern Orwell-powered airship. These Orwell ships are already used extensively in, in Libor, but neighboring nations such as Erebonia have also begun to devote themselves to their manufacture as well, and smaller sized airships are also used. Hmm. Septian Calendar 500-1100, the Septian Era. The first appearance of the Septian Church 
occurred around the year 500 and marked the end of the Dark Ages. The church, centered around the goddess of the sky Ideos and espousing an ide ideology of human salvation, began to take an active role in society and rapidly permea permeated social consciousness. Eventually, the nobility and night class could no longer ignore the church's power, and the new order was established with the church at the center. center. Okay. Ancient artifacts. Artifact. Now, a relic of any shape or size found in an ancient ruin and generally of unknown or uncertain purpose. The church believes these artifacts have some connection with the Septarians? Gifts from Ideos. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. And their recovery is one of the duties uh, that the church fulfills. Artifacts are said to have supernatural powers, but those on display here are all ones that have since lost said powers and are no longer functional. But I remember that. Professor Alba, who was staying here before, was quite a man. His theory about the Septarians or Seven Treasures was quite charming. I'd like to hear his opinion about the mysterious devices in the ancient towers that have activated recently. Apparently, he investigated the towers across the regions, after all. Professor Alba? Huh. Who was that? It seems familiar. Oh, he still also doesn't remember... Uh, Professor Alba at all. I thought it was just that one instance. But she would know Professor Alba, but no, not even that. Wow, okay. She doesn't even remember all those times she was with Joshua and took, like, guided Alba through the through the towers. Although I guess only one of those was actually in the main story, right? All those other ones were side quests. But at the same time, this game has proved time and time again that side quests are canon. So, hmm. a man-powered machine used to spin thread. As the Septian era continued and people became accustomed to peace, cotton and other crops became more widely cultivated and sold. This was also the era in which handicrafts, with the intent to obtain money, came into practice. Church Testaments Manuscript Septian Calendar 500 okay. Handwritten copy of the scriptures used by the church, church at the end of the Dark Ages. The ability to print did not exist in the Middle Ages, leaving no choice but to copy by hand onto pieces of parchment. Right. Church ritual items. Approximately year 500 in the Septian calendar, okay? The church has long been a source of art, and this has been true since the dawn of the Septian era. It was around the year 900, however, that the current likeness of Ideos is thought to have been first created. Likewise, many of the ritual items used by the church today first assume their present mm. um, present forms in this time period too. All right. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can wait. Grants a block. Oh, they're still. Oh no. 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 Okay. No. I already. So, da -da -da -da. it's my first time seeing Grenzel Castle up close. Its presence is far more impressive in person in pho photographs. I'm a fan of the Royal Guard, especially of Miss Julia, of course. Hey, hi there. The capital's an amazing place, huh? Yep. He's getting pretty excited since this is the first vacation we've had in a while. Hmm. Seems like you could fish quite well here. Is that a fishing spot? Mm -hmm. Oh, there is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's try the dumplings. See if it works. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, it worked. Liberal Carp. Tiara Bomb. Awesome. River Snail. Uh, probably not gonna work, but let's see. Mm. 
Yeah, okay, I thought so. Frog. But spread the good word and tell everyone that Amphibia exists. Okay. Nothing else. What about pictures? Art. Not many. Oh, I got away. I can pass. Oh, you're the victors of the martial arts competition, right? <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> what is it today? If there's someone you'd like to speak with, we can contact them immediately. Or would you like to tour the castle grounds? No, we were just passing by today. Ah, okay, well, if anything does come up, just say the word. Yeah, thanks. Oh, wow, they just. They would actually just let me go through. I am an honorary guest. <laughs> I am important. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's report this. Let's get those 4,000. Still rank E. Wow. Good work. Okay, uh, let's go outside and then end the stream. There are already monsters right here in the entrance. Okay, these enemies aren't too bad. Wait, what about Rock Comet? What does it do? Oh, it's just Comet. Oh, it's Comet with Petra. Okay. We stop in here? Yeah. Let me just beat these enemies. And I'll stop. Got away? For real? Yeah, I have to stop here. Sorry about that, just I I have a bit of a tutoring, like a bit of a tutoring side job where I'm tutoring English and it's gonna start in like eight minutes. <laughs> I, I'm not ready by the way. I'm re I stretched this stream as f as far as I could. But yeah, this but yeah, this is gonna be the end of the stream. I have, I have a stream plan right now, so next stream is gonna be, um, oh hey Pat, thank you Jack Wolf, and Hydrate from Yukin. Thank you, for the Hydrate as well. Okay, so next stream is gonna be uh, Sky, Children of the Light. Then the next stream after that is gonna be Final Fantasy XIV, I will continue the main story. And then the next one after that will be Trails in the Sky. And then I will just cycle through those, over and over. Right? It's already three games that I'm playing concurrently. And giving my looking at my schedule like, and, and life kind of getting in the way, it doesn't really work out well for me to play other games or even collabs or anything. And I just really like these games, and I'm usually not all that great with collabs, so I'm just gonna continue like this. So then the next game that I will play on Monday, um, I I'm pretty sure I will play, be able to play on Monday, will be Sky, Children of the Light. Then after, after that will be Final Fantasy XIV, and then I'll continue Trails in the Sky. All good? All good. And also, when I play Trails in the Sky, Unlike Final Fantasy XIV and, and Sky, Children of the Light, um, I think I might start Trails in the Sky streams earlier. Like, I've been starting them in the afternoon at 1pm. Um, I've been moving streams to start at 1pm. Today I, I started at 2pm, I got pretty late, sorry about that. Um, 
but but I've been trying to push to 1 p.m. because that's when most people that that watch me comes uh, come watch me, right? They they stop by. However, Trails in the Sky is the odd one out. Um, almost no one of my viewers comes by, aside from Yukin. And today, actually, Jakov came by. Thank you so much. Uh, so I will be starting Trails in the Sky earlier than usual because the time that I start uh, playing Trails in the Sky, either it be at 1 p.m. or like 9 a.m. in the morning, it doesn't really matter for the viewership. So I'll just I'll start it earlier, and so I'll be playing more of it, like more hours of it. That's my plan. My current plan. Let's see if I can actually sti stick to the schedule, by the way. <laughs> I, I'm aiming to be able to stream at least three times per week. With my current schedule, with my current, like, life, right now, I can kinda comfortably stream three times per week. If I'm, if I'm able to stream a fourth time, then I'll stream, like, some random short game. You know, that's not any of the main three that I'm playing right now. I'll just play like a fourth random one that I feel like playing at that time, I don't know. Maybe I'll play Sonic Riders or I'll play a random GBA game or a PS1 game or DS, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever I'll feel like at the moment. That's not the three main ones. Anyway, uh, bye bye. Thank you so much for you, for the both of you, for Yukin and Jakov. Thank you very much for the both of you to stop by. It was awesome. Love you all, love you both. Here, uh, have some head pads. You too. I think this was the first stream this week. Yup. I'm able to stream from Monday to Friday. Saturday, I can never stream. Like, super, it's extremely rare. It's exceptionally rare for me to be able to, to stream on Saturday. I'm usually super busy. And Sundays, it kind of depends on life. Like, in the morning, I can. But in the afternoon, I might be able to. But at the same time, life kind of gets in the way sometimes. But Saturdays, never. Like, it's exceptionally rare, okay? Like, it's a 0.001% chance of me streaming on, on Saturday. A lot of elements have to align perfectly for me to stream on, on a Saturday. <laughs> Just so you, you get the idea. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, and on Sundays, it's only like a couple of things that have to align perfectly. Uh, let's see, Tuesdays, Tuesdays I'm usually very busy on uh, in the afternoon, so tu so Tuesdays are usually out of the way, unless I'm play playing Trails in the Sky, no, no, never mind, and Tuesdays, yeah, Tuesdays, Saturdays and Sundays, I probably don't stream, but Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, I am very likely to stream, unless I say otherwise, okay, alright. That's a schedule right now. So like, you have to predict everything to give yourself a thought to stream. That's really tough. Yeah, life kind of gets in the way, to be honest. <laughs> but that's that's the way it is. Anyway, bye-bye. Uh, now the tutoring class is in two minutes and I haven't prepared anything at all. That's I'm a great teacher. I'm a great tutor. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, Good schedule. Mm -hmm.